Hey y'all, this is Marley Kay. Hope you all are well. I have a story from Simply Simple Flying. It's on the MSN news website. And it came out today, February, I'm sorry, March 2nd. I don't know why I'm still stuck in February. So it came out on March uh, the 2nd. And it is FBI arrest suspect after TSA stops explosives getting on a plane. I am going to put this in the category of there is a dead cat on the line. This is some fraggle knackle boo. And I'm doing so because we have been in this country, you know, 19 years, give or take, with TSA. Never had any issues. Suddenly, right when WW3 is getting ready to happen, um, a internet war is about to be waged against us, all this chaos, 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 uh, to incite fear. And here we are with somebody trying to get on a plane with explosives. Allegiant Airlines at that. I am undone. I love Allegiant because I fly them all the time. They have uh, really inexpensive flights. Always friendly people on the flights. Just usually regional flights, but not anything to... um, too pressing, too long. It's not like, you know, major air carriers. And so for someone to use this particular airline, like it's just reeking BS. But anyway, let's get into this story. If there's one thing passengers should never bring to an airport or talk about in any way, it's explosives. For those looking for an immediate arrest in a go straight to jail car, this is a good strategy. For one Pennsylvania man taking this unlawful risk saw him arrested as he tried to bring an explosive device on board a flight. When is the last time somebody did anything like this? Again, They need chaos so they can bring order. They need fear or to incite fear so that they can gain our trust. They're gonna provide a problem and provide you with a solution. Pay attention to all these weird anomalies that are happening all over the country. There's no such thing as a coincidence. And a couple of these things in one day, in a a short period of time, It's a dead cat on the line. I'm sorry. Suspicions raised from a sudden alert. The incident happened at Lehigh Valley International Airport on March 1st during a routine screening of a checked bag. An alarm alerted TSA agents to a suspicious piece of luggage belonging to a 40-year-old Pennsylvanian passenger. The man had checked his baggage at Allegiant Air flight G4201 bound for Orlando Sanford International Airport, Orlando. As the alarm had gone off, a search into the baggage's contents were was undertaken where TSA agents found a circular compound wrapped in wax-like paper and clear plastic wrap. Now, I just find this so suspicious that anybody would do this because anybody who's flown any amount of time knows that TSA can pull any bag anytime they feel like it, inspect it, they'll cut the lock off, and they'll leave you a note in there. They scan, you know, every bag that goes through, but they randomly inspect some, and then if there's something that is flagged, they'll pull it in and inspect it further. So I'm just not believing this story. The carefully wrapped compound was hidden in the lining of the baggage. 
Besides finding the concealed item, TSA agents also noticed the remaining contents of the luggage included a can of butane, a pipe with powder residue, a lighter, two ground fault circuit interpreter outlets, and a cordless drill with batteries. What in the world? Everybody who has common sense knows you can't fly with butane. So this story just doesn't make any sense to me. But I just wanted to bring it to you because I just wanted to highlight how so many things that just don't make any sense are happening. And, you know, it could be a distraction. It could be something that should have been successful. It may be a test, but it's still, you know, why now after all this time? We've never heard of anything like this happening until this year. So I I can't say any more except for there's a dead cat on the line. So y'all pay attention to the madness. Don't be fearful. There's nothing to be afraid of. If you know who the enemy is, you keep your eye on it. And so that's that's all I'm doing. I'm just highlighting the madness if y'all like this video please hit that thumbs up button subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content and please 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 hit the all so that you can get all the notifications when I do submit a new video you can receive it as it comes out hopefully YouTube will not unsubscribe you without your permission. Don't forget to also subscribe to my Odyssey and Rumble channels in the event that I get yeeted from this channel because they do uh, drive-bys and you know lock you up, put you in jail, and censor you. So um, just crazy times, y'all. It's crazy times. This is Marley Kay, and I'm out.